19th, I had to check. Welcome to the 19th of July, but stop swinging around too much. I'm ready, I'm off to go to the gym for the third time, or the third class I should say, third class today. I did two this morning, so I did hip for 30 minutes, come back for 45, and I'm back to do a 45 minute balance class just to stretch out all the muscles. Died. my mom's here today, so she's looking a bit better so i wasn't going to dye her hair she's looking good isn't she i wasn't going to dye her hair i was going to leave it natural but i couldn't do it because my mum was a bit like me with grey hairs i didn't like to see them so um i couldn't do it i'm just gonna dye her hair and i did it it's a wee bit red but it looks lovely so i'm off to do balance now and um yeah, hubby's cooking, get my keys, husband is cooking kidneys, kidneys, is that what you're cooking? Yeah. A kidney stew. You're not having any. I'm not having any. Yeah. So, catch you later. Hello and welcome to the 20th of July, already. Yep, I'm just in from being out <laughs> and then i'm gonna show you my outfit because i'm loving it i'm loving it. it's a dress that i showed you in my last vlog and um yeah so here it is look Doo -doo. looks lovely doesn't it here it is properly Let's see if we can do it better like that with the window behind i don't know can you see so that's a dress, so comfortable, got it from French Connection and um, I think it cost me £60, reduced from uh, 120 Wore it today with my walk and my Chanel flats, just casual but smart, loved it, really really love it, <laughs> yeah. I have been tagged with so many tag videos. I think I've got seven to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start far with the one that many tagged me with, that's the last one, and then I've got Tanya's to do, and oh, I've got so many to do, but I'll get through them all. I promise you ladies, I will do them all eventually. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna look up the questions of, two of them are summer tags. So I'll probably get those two done first and then I've got my favourite LV tag to do and um, one from Lux Purse Love. What was Lux Purse Love's tag? What was hers? Mm, I have to look it up. I can't remember. I'll look it up. But yeah, I'll get round to them. Didn't buy anything today. Never bought a thing today, did I? No, never bought anything today. I'm all shopped out. Can you ever be shopped out? Can you? I don't know. So yeah, I've got my Victoria, just in case anybody wants to know. Got my Victoria Beckham lipstick on, which I'm not really a fan of, if I had to be honest. It's the Chilean Sunset. Looks like, so it's all worn off now, but that's what it looks like. And then, they're quite drying, I think the her lipsticks so I wouldn't buy another one that's for sure so I better go and get mum's dinner organized and um, yeah good morning and welcome to the 21st of July I have had a really productive morning this morning I absolutely love it when I'm in one of those moods I'm ready for the gym class starts at quarter to ten so a late start this morning but so far I have hoovered the house, I have mopped, cleaned the bathrooms, my mum is up, dressed, fed and um, I've even sat and watched a video. <laughs> I love it! And it's what? It's not even 9 o'clock, is it 9 o'clock? Let me tell you. It's 8.57 precisely. I love it, I love it. Um, I watched a video on, um, let me see if I can bring it up. It's 15 things you didn't know about Louis Vuitton. So, um... Very interesting, of course, one of them being that they burn and uh, they burn excess stock 
at the end of a season and um, apparently and I just recently posted on my Instagram that Burberry are also doing this as well and Chanel apparently do it too so um, yeah quite interesting but the other interesting fact is um, that um, which I didn't know that all Louis Vuitton um, bags are both waterproof and fireproof are one of the facts handbags here it is number nine their handbags are both waterproof and fireproof one reason why the designer can justify their high price tag is that all of their handbags are waterproof and fireproof and go through extensive durability testing to ensure their quality so this is the channel that's the channel there so quite interesting because we're always worried about water stains and you know so on and so forth and the bags turn out to be waterproof and fireproof that's what they're quoting i don't know um so yeah so if they're fireproof how are they burning them they're more likely shredding them so the fact about burning and shredding the bags is that all the bags are at the end of a season all the bags are gathered and taken to a warehouse and the staff are then able to buy the bags at a reduced price um, but the bags that they buy are of course tracked so they can't resell them and then the leftovers are burned or shredded number four leftover products are burned or shredded after every season if you're an lv lover the thought of an elite collection of unused bags being shredded or burned is probably enough to give you nightmares but this is exactly what happens at the end of each season any unsold items are gathered in a big warehouse where they are offered to louis vuitton employees at discounted prices there are strict rules that apply though and each item is tracked to ensure it doesn't end up on ebay and if it does they will know exactly who is responsible any items that remain unsold will be shredded or burned so here we are Burberry burns bags clothes perfume worth millions Burberry the upmarket British fashion label destroyed unsold clothes accessories perfumes worth 28.6 million last year to protect its brand it takes the total value of goods it has destroyed over the past five years to more than 90 million. Fashion firms, including Burberry, destroy unwanted items to prevent them being stolen or sold cheaply. Burberry said that the energy generated from burning its products was captured, making it environmentally friendly. Burberry has careful processes in place to minimise the amount of excess stock we produce. On the occasions when dis disposal of products is necessary we do so in a responsible manner and we continue to seek ways to reduce and revalue our waste a spokesperson for the company said the FTS E100 company said last year was unusual as it had to destroy a large amount of perfume after signing a new deal with the US firm Cote as Cote would be making new stock Burberry had to dispose of 10 million worth of old products, largely perfume. There we go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's the 22nd of July. And uh, yeah, we're up rather early this morning because this little madam right here decided she was going to wake up. And she wasn't even sleeping in there. No, she was sleeping with Yaya and Bapu, weren't you? Look at her bed here. <laughs> you want to see yourself? Look. Is that, is that you? Is that you? You're back from your holidays? Georgie, you're back from your holidays? Look at her here. Look. Hey, you back. Did you get a nice tan? Did you? Georgie, what are you eating? Mmm. Do you like peanut butter? Is that lovely? <laughs> Yummy. Oh, look. Libby's coming for peanut butter. 
Like this, put it up high so Lily doesn't get it. She absolutely loves peanut butter, but then so do I. So I'm ready for the gym, and Georgie's gonna stay with her papu whilst I go and do my wee 45 minute step class. Is that right, Georgie? Moo. Is that yummy? Mm. I love peanut butter. That's how I eat peanut butter, straight from the tub. Mm -hmm. So off to Edinburgh to pick up my shoes. That's my granddaughter away. I am showered, but I just didn't wash my hair no time. So and I've gotten it mixed majorly or just thrown everything on today. Bowman t-shirt with gold writing, Hermes um, belt. I've got my Chanel Espadrilles on, usual jewellery. Maybe a bish mash. And I've got my Bauman blazer, which I'm at the moment I'm feeling too warm to wear, but it's got the gold buttons. And I'm taking my Chanel jumbo, and I'm taking the shoe horn because I always need a shoe horn for these, just because I see any shoes that I need to try on. So that's going with me as well. So rush, rush, I'll show you what the blazer looks like on. So that's the blazer on, but oh, really feels far too warm just now. So yeah, quick. Very quick outfit. Sorry of my life, rushing about everywhere. Oh, it's warm. Just as a side note, the Gucci glasses that I had on last week do not really fit in the LV sunglass case. Look at it, it just looks terrible. Oh, I'm going to have to put this down. Just put them in my Key Australia case because Gucci glasses come in great big cases. So. Okay, we've actually made it to the train station with the time to spare for the change. We're normally running onto the train, so yay! Good start. I'm ready to sleep. Enjoys of having your granddaughter. Slides. I like these. They feel so hard. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Why? They're hard. Sure. Feel that. Sure, I yeah. literally feel it. Feel that. Yeah, but that. Underneath. No. collect the shoes or at least see the shoes and hopefully they've done a good job but honestly it's just a matter of gluing them on so uh, yeah so we have stopped up on our coffee so, <laughs> men in the cars do you want to see a tesla no right into louis vuitton Welcome to Andrew's vlog. We're presently sitting in the refinery on St Andrew's Square in Edinburgh. 
It's a little bit overcast, but it was warm, so it's, it's nice enough to sit outside. We went back to Harvey Nichols to get Andrew's shoes, and they've done a good job with them, but we'll see what happens after that. There's a wee mark on them, so she has to get that cleaned. From there, we went to the Louis Vuitton store, and it was mega excitement because they've now got shoes and they've now got perfumes and fragrances. Andrew brought, what did she buy? She bought a mascara and that was about it. And we bought some coffee from the Nespresso store. So now we're waiting to order some wine and a few nibbles while we wait to go and get a train to get home. End the vlog. <laughs> Brilliant. What's the, what's we'll get the olives right. and we'll get the smoked almonds. Right. And. Um, she brings the mm -hmm. colours from there, don't worry, there. Okay, yeah. Because I'm not bothered about sitting there having a look. Peppers. Mm -hmm. Do you want the peppers? I know. Do you want the portion of fries? Portion of fries, as in what? Chips? I don't know. Just get the olives in the, in the what you said, right? And get a bottle of this. The one with it. Dry white. Just a wee bottle of Pinot Grigio. Always a safe bet with your Defendi. And we've got water. We were told the glass is not dirty with bits inside of it. It's water infused with grapefruit and orange pieces or bits. Chin chin people. We've got with some nibbles, some smoked tamis. I forget what the olives were called, and we've got some yeah, of this nice bread with. The little, they are lovely. Netherland farm with butter. <laughs> and olive oil and balsamic, of course. Right, back to me. Mmm. It's salty, eh? No? Smoky. I yeah, because didn't you have a one nice. woman who bought the house that came out? She went to pubs, it's literally... Nice warm bread. We don't make our money, we make our money. So it's all so over the pub, like a real fantastic... £5 for beer, or £1, £5 for one beer, I'm sorry, you can make more money. So the whole idea behind the book and the bill being presented in the book is to reduce the footprint on the environment rather than keep printing the uh, paper bills like the bill folders we use the books and they came from a charity so we paid them to a charity as well Brilliant, thank you, thank you. Thanks very much You're very welcome <laughs> We have had our nipples and wine Now as per usual we are rushing for the train so, um, yeah. so we were sitting at the restaurant, what was it called? The... Oh for God's sake. Come on! Think. Anyway, as we were sitting there because this is where you're going to vlog and I went, and no I can't vlog, there's people next to me and there's people right next to me, I can't do it. So he went, I'll do it. So that's why Rico did the vlog him. and how good was he? Oh my God! A lot more brave than I am. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? <laughs> 
school gate Good morning. Hello and welcome to the 24th of July. I thought I had updated you on the shoes, but it turns out um, I hadn't. Well, I had spoken to the camera, but obviously my battery had run out and I've only just realised my battery had run out. So, right, where are we? About the shoes. So, I picked up the shoes on Sunday from Harvey Nichols. Good service. It only took a week, so I took them out in the week before and I got them back in exactly a week and I spoke to Frankie who couldn't have been um, more helpful from Harvey Nichols in Edinburgh R really an absolute gem she was um, so I got the shoes back the buckle is fixed it was this one here on the right so the buckle is now fixed they didn't do anything um, except glue the buckle back on. They didn't clean them up or anything and it did seem quite stained. And there was, there is a bit of a mark there, but honestly, that mark was there before the shoes went away for repair. I think that was actually a stain from my granddaughter's christening. And they were really quite marked in the middle here and I think that was because we were trying to press that back on on the night when the buckle fell off or the brooch or the ornament whatever you like to refer to it as so I just simply took a wet one and wiped down the shoe and they look fine I'm not sending them off to get cleaned or dyed which was an offer that Harvey Nichols had offered to me and, and honestly I still absolutely love the shoes even though that happened to them you know a 745 pound shoe that should not happen to it you know all this rubbish about airing the shoes and that's a load of rubbish you know when you're paying that amount of money you don't expect the buckle to fall off um second time of wearing them but anyway that aside i just wanted to come back on quickly and let you know so brilliant service from harvey nichols an excellent sales assistant and harvey nichols frankie absolutely brilliant and um, i've got my shoes back now ready to wear still looking for a bag to match the shoes but i'm struggling if i had to be honest i am struggling to add another bag to my collection i don't want to add bags for the sake of adding a bag or for the because everybody else has a bag i don't want to do that the valentino one was beautiful didn't make my heart sing it did not and really with my classics they're the bags that really are doing it for me they're the ones when I carry them I just I really do enjoy those bags I took my jumbo on Sunday and I absolutely love carrying that bag went into Louis Vuitton as well great service in Louis Vuitton they're now doing see I spoke all about this when I came out of Louis Vuitton but obviously I wasn't recording so um yeah Louis Vuitton in Edinburgh have now got um both male and female shoes which is really good it's a really big store in Edinburgh so I often wondered why they didn't stock shoes they're only doing it temporarily just to see how it works but um I think I think it would be a shame if they took them away. They also had perfumes as well. And honestly, I was really quite impressed with the perfumes because they don't really get good reviews on YouTube, or at least the videos that I've watched haven't been great reviews. I actually really like them. I would consider um, purchasing one. There's a, this, my husband took the samples. He had the samples. I don't know where they are, but the two samples that I took away, and I'll talk about, I don't know where. He's put them, don't know where he's put them, probably still in his pocket. But overall, yep, yeah, we had a good day. I'm just, it's about lunchtime just now, so I was at the gym this morning. I did, what did I do this morning? I did a half hour hit class. I did a half hour spin class. Then it should have been a 15 minute abs class, which was cut short. Um, so I, I did that today. I've given my mum her lunch. And basically, I'm now going to do some housework. So, yeah, exciting life. Very exciting life, isn't it? Mm hmm So, that's what we're up to so far, Tuesday. want to show you one more thing before I go. Yesterday, I received a surprise. Best thing ever when you get a parcel, 
you're not expecting a parcel. Oh, you should have seen me ripping it over and I'm like, what is this? What, did, what is this? I'm like, it was addressed to me and I've thrown all the packaging away now, but I need to show you this because I absolutely love it. And um, it came from Mimi from Chateau Chic. So if you don't follow her, make sure you go and follow her. And um, she's quite a new YouTuber. She uploads videos with her daughter. Her daughter's been studying just now. So the last few Mimi's done herself, but you always get a guest appearance. From Nina so anyway this is what she sent me look and I absolutely love it look Andrea's gin and tonic always love things with my name on them look and then here it says step aside coffee this is a job for gin and it's all personalized at the back and there's a message there to Lady Andre at Andrea's world with love Mimi is that not just amazing? Absolutely love it. Can't wait till I have my first gin and tonic on it. Trying not to have any alcohol during the week. So um, I'll probably, maybe, I sort of, I'm good kind of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, come Thursday. I'm like, little tiny one. May have a little tiny one on Thursday if my willpower goes out the window. But if not Thursday, I'll have one name um, Friday for definite. Look, Andrew's gin and tonic. Oh, love it. Just love it. Is that not thoughtful? Just so mean. She knows me too well. So thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe. Press that notification. Leave your comment. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.